Assassin, welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. But now, if you see, I'm wearing a different hat. What does that tell you? That means I'm about to smoke a cigar that I probably don't want the smell to get on my hat. So, change the hat. Now, today we're getting the Stillwell DTT, down button, Stillwell English number 27 star, and it's also known as the Toro. Uh, for the size, because they call it English 27. I don't know why. It's 6x52 Toro. There you go. As you can see, like the first thing you can identify is that Lone Star. So I guess it's try to play with that Texas theme or something like that. It might or might not be. I don't know. Right? I don't I don't know. But that's that's what it looks like. Now I think there is kind of cool because he's drawing the style is cut through it looks like this texture right it looks like there is some texture but <clears throat> it looks like this some texture but it's flat it's completely flat it has a little bit of very little bit of texture but that this thing's flat so that's This thing smells like stinky pills. Those Asian stinky pills that if you have diarrhea, you go eat. I'll put a picture uh, for, for I Albert to put it right here. If you don't believe me, go get one of these pills and smell it. It smells exactly like this. It also smells like old carpet. So... Let's start, let's start with this. Okay, let's start with this. You see that? This thing is flat. But it looks like there is some texture on it. Pretty good. I like that. But I still well, num English number 27. I don't know the significance. So I couldn't tell you. Right? Uh, the rapper is Ecuadorian Habano. Binder is Mexican San Andreas. Uh, can't pronounce that. So I'm just going to leave that is. And Phyllis Nicaraguan. Uh, there's also Burley, also Turkish, Cypriot, Latakia pressed cake. Don't know what that is. Pretty sure it's not food, but it is what it is. MSRP 1530. Uh, okay. It's their regular production cigar. So, like I say, it smells like. Stinky pill. And honestly, that smells so distinct. Like any, you can get get this to any Asian person and smell it. They will, they will probably, they will probably recognize what I'm talking about. Orange box stinky pills. It's for stomach issues. All right, dry draw. Uh oh. It tastes like old black tea, similar to earthiness of some sort of like uh, maybe similar to an Earl Grey kind of black tea, aged old black tea taste. Come on. I'm gonna 
running out, let me change another one. I always have a spare. Even my lighter doesn't want to light this cigar. Well, right away, I get some cedar. I get some earthiness. I think it's some not even burn. That part just doesn't like to burn. Guess what's missing? Guess what's... What's missing? What's missing? Tobacco. <laughs> All right. The dry, it's a kind of tight draw too. It's a little bit of cedar, a little bit of grain. A little bit of sweetness. And old wood, wet, aged jar. And some sort of like um, old temple herbal instant kind of, I don't know, Persian or like something, some spice that kind of reminds me of that area. Yep, that's pretty much it. So yeah, let me smoke three, uh, blah, one third. This guy uh, messed me up. One third, and then we'll come back, and we'll talk about this cigar. Holy shit! All right. Okay, first third. Now, I'm kind of out of words to describe the cigar because it tastes like a exotic herb with black tea foam. Some sort of exotic region. Persia, India, uh, Turkey, that kind of place. And I like because of that kind of flavor, I kind of feel like I'm not smoking a cigar, rather, I'm smoking some sort of herbal mixture. Um, like a pipe tobacco-ish kind of thing. Uh, or like a I don't know, a traditional hookah or something like that. I don't know. It, it tastes kind of weird. But there is a very dominant black tea flavor and some sweetness that kind of works off to a floral and then that herbal was not spicy, but spice, you know, the spice or incense or something like that that combines together. Uh, to make that mixture so it's different you don't feel like you're smoking a cigar because all that flavor kind of cover out any of the cedar any of the cigar like characteristic that I feel like it's weird I I don't know so I'm trying to figure this out at the same time, if you do smoke this thing and had a really nice black tea, I, I will say that that this is one of those cigars that actually goes well with black tea. Usually, most cigars doesn't. Because it tastes like tea, it will go well with the tea. But what does that have to do with Texas? Or Lone Star? I mean, now I can kind of understand why it's called English. It's like English black tea. But it's not really English. 
right? So, um, the ash structure, pretty good. I did have to pull that tiny of a stem out to get a little bit draw. Um, and there was some loose tobacco. So once I pulled that out, I was able to like kind of pick some tobacco off. So there's like a hole here, but the missing part of it in the front kind of disappeared. So it became a more smokable cigar. Kind of basically worked itself out with minor, minor uh, inconvenience. Yeah, it's weird. It almost smells like a berry. It almost smells like a berry a little bit because that black tea, once it gets sweeter, it, it smells like berry. So, yeah, let me smoke the second half, uh, second third, and we'll see where that goes because right now, I don't even know if I'm going to call this a cigar. <laughs> it tastes weird. It tastes weird. And when I say weird, it's, like it's, it's not typical of what cigar should taste like. So... Be right back. Okay, we're back last third. Now the flavor, still black tea is pre predominant and when the black tea turns really sweet, it kind of works its way, right? Black tea, like and, and berry, and then kind of licorice sweetness, like that. And then at the end, what it left over is a little bit of cedar. So it's an enjoyable cigar and this cigar is Probably medium, medium plus strain, close to full. I'm very confused about whether or not I enjoy the cigar. Like, it's not bad. The flavor is interesting, but it's not what I expect on a cigar because I don't feel like I'm smoking a cigar because of all the flavor. So, I don't know. For what it is, and the level of interestingness, I can give him 15 and change. That's fine. 15 and change will do. But I don't know if this will be like our everyday cigar. This will be like uh, once in a million year, I want to smoke something different. We'll be like, you know, you have a conversation. Say, hey, dude, have you smoked one of those steel wells? No, what are you talking about? You got to try that shit, bro. It does not taste like a cigar. It tastes like a fucking... Black tea or some shit. Oh, that sounds interesting. Where did you find it? Oh, I got one, bro. Just, just try it. Oh, that was kind of interesting. That, that's calling, like that would be the only situation that I can think of that where this cigar resides. Because normally, I, I probably would not smoke this cigar. Like normally, for for that reason, for for any other reason. So, um. I just realized this this band has no words on it, just the stars. So yeah, I I still think it's pretty cool because it makes it look like there is some texture to it, but you know, barely any. You see that, barely any. But it looks like there's a lot of texture. It looks like it's like you know separated. But yeah, however they did it, looks pretty cool. Nothing in the back though. I still don't understand why they put a lone star. I don't think this thing represents Texas for any reason. And DTT is not even from Texas, I think. It's from like New Jersey or something like that. So, I don't know. So yeah, last stir. Finish it up. And we'll come back to uh, summary. <laughs> Finished up. So, <clears throat> very confusing. Um, last stir, it starts to have more of that cigar-esque taste to it. Cigar-esque. Like cedary, like earthy note to it, less of that tea flavor. But it still didn't bring me that, oh, I smoke a cigar joy. I don't know. So the whole time I'm smoking this, I'm talking to Martin, I'm talking to Eric. And like, they're like, how do you like that cigar? I don't know. I really don't know. I because it's like I don't feel like I don't feel like I smoked the cigar. But at the same time, I'm smoking a cigar. And I don't feel like the, 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 the flavor is like a cigar flavor. I feel like I'm just puffing on herb. You know, I don't know. It's interesting for sure. 
right? If it's gonna have interesting point, this thing is eight out of ten interesting. But as a cigar, I feel like it kind of failed as a cigar. It's just weird, right? But you know, as an interesting cigar, treat it as an interesting cigar. Okay, fifteen bucks, fifteen and the change. Okay, you can have it. That's fine. But it's gotta be some cigar. I just gotta I'll go out and buy it now. But whenever I have that conversation, say, hey, you want to taste a cigar that doesn't taste like a cigar? I'll be like, try this one. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is a place for it. Like, like an icebreaker or like a conversation starter. Sure. But you want me to just go smoke the cigar and then deal with the medium plus strength and then really feel unsatisfied at the end of it? I wouldn't. I, like, I don't want to. I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? So it's one of those cigars that's, okay, it's interesting. It's not bad. It's just not it then this cigar is it. Um, is it a bad cigar? No. All right, the tobacco is fine, burns fine, smokes fine, tastes fine, but it's not a cigar of enjoyment. It's a cigar of interest, if that makes any sense, right? So yeah, that will be the cigar. I'll pay the 15 and change to figure out how it tastes like, probably once and then after that it will always be a conversation thing not necessarily like i need to enjoy a cigar i want to go buy one of those if that makes sense all right so yeah that's that cigar <sighs> kind of disappointed i gotta have another cigar but that's it for this cigar review if you like the cigar review please make sure to like subscribe share comment um watch it twice <laughs> i don't know i always feel like this is missing something but yeah and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.